So in this problem, we're told to use part one of the fundamental theorem of calculus to find the derivative of the function. We're told that y equals the integral from sine of x to the cosine of x of 5 plus b to the 6th um, to the 4th, and so times dv. And so the first thing that we want to do to solve this problem is uh, rewrite it in an easier way. So we have this function here, and we're going to rewrite it into two different integrals. So we have the sine of x on the bottom, right, our lower bound. And then we're going to say our upper bound is going to be 0, so we're going to split it off at 0. Then we just rewrite our function on the inside, so 5 plus v to the 6th, and then all of that to the 4th, times dv, then plus our new integral. And then it's going to be 0, right? So 0 on the bottom, and then up to the cosine of x. We basically just made a distinction at 0, and then we just rewrite what's on the inside, so 5 plus v to the 6th the fourth times dv. Then now what we want to do is rewrite this integral so the sine of x is on top. And so we can do that by, um, there's a rule that says if we just minus it, we can switch these two. So if we minus this integral, uh, it's going to switch them. So zero will go on the bottom, then sine of x will go on the top, and then we can just rewrite what's on the inside. So five plus v to the sixth to the fourth dv. So that's just a way to rewrite that. And then we're plus, and then I'm just going to rewrite this right here. So the integral from 0 to the cosine of x, 5 plus v to the 6 to the 4th dv. So now that we got it in this form, we can easily take the derivative. So what we want to do is take the derivative of each of these and add them together. So let's start with uh, this one right here. So what we want to do is just take this, so our uh, sine of x here or upper bound, plug it in for v, and then multiply by the derivative of sine of x. So if we go, if we do that, we're going to have 5 plus the sine of x to the 6th, and then uh, this whole thing is going to be to the 4th, and then we're multiplying by the derivative of sine of x, which is uh, cosine of x. And then the thing is though, I'm going to we have a minus sign out front, so I'm going to just move this out here, so minus the cosine of x, that's supposed to go right there, but I don't really have room, times this whole thing right here, and then we plus, we got to find the derivative of this. So what we want to do is plug our upper bound, so cosine of x for v, and multiply by the derivative of cosine of x. So it's going to become 5 plus, then we plug in cosine of x, so this goes to the 6th. Then the whole thing is to the fourth. Then we multiply by the derivative of the cosine of x, which is just um, minus sine of x. And so I can move this out here. Let me go ahead and do that. So we have minus sine of x times 5 plus, and then plug in cosine of x here, the sixth. Then this whole thing to the fourth. So our final answer is going to be minus cosine of x times uh, 5 plus the sine of x to the sixth, all that to the fourth, minus the sine of x uh, times 5 plus the cosine of x to the sixth, and then that raised to the fourth. So this right here is going to be how you solve this problem.